All right, hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, also known as Soraya, and I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. All right, guys, so I got some items that I would like to share that I have completed, and also what is currently on my hook. Happy Friday to everyone. All right, guys, so... um. I think for the last, has it been two years, guys? I'm not even for sure. But I think for the last two years, we have been scrapping it up, hashtag scrapping it up. And so the last time I shared with you guys, I was taking down this right here, which initially I started to make another um, scrap blanket, but I just wasn't motivated. And so anyway, I start taking this down and this is what I came up with, a scrap hat. And I absolutely love this hat, and so does my husband. So anyway, I took this down, and I made this really slouchy, nice hat. And this hat is so much fun, and I tell you why. I am so ready for spring, guys. I am so looking forward to spring. And this kind of like screams uh, spring. That's a tongue twister. So I just took the um, hat down and I just went in whatever direction the hat allowed me to go. And I'm so glad that as I came to like the top part of it, it went to more of the pink. I didn't even know I had this much pink on this right here. And then with the mustard and then with a darker gold. And then you guys know I love to do my front post, back post uh, border. So I went like three, three rows of that and I got a nice size slouchy hat. And I don't have no problem with showing the back and how the colors ran out because the intent was to make a slouchy hat. And this hat is for me and I absolutely cannot wait. I was going to... When I get ready to share this with you guys, I actually was going to model it myself, but I got my hair kind of pent up like with a ball up here and it would have this kind of like that. But once I um, have my hair like all back, I cannot wait to wear this hat. I'm going to have my shades on and this is truly my scrap up hat. Let me guys know what you guys think of it and it's large too and i wanted to do i wanted I, I purposely went to make it slouchy all right that's somebody because i'm going to get some braids in my hair so i figure you know if i want to have all my braids in there or even if you have like locks or longer hair but as you can see regardless if you have like longer hair or if you have taper hair it still drapes really nice can't wait to wear it as soon as uh, the weather gets a little bit better. So what I was thinking about doing was go ahead and get started with another one. I'm not for sure if I'm going to do that either because I'm thinking about making a scarf. So I got some yarn that i um getting ready to go over into my scrap pal. And so I'm thinking about making a scrap up um scarf because I figured you know I don't need to make everything the same and there's so many great ideas to making things using your scrap yarn and just so many wonderful ideas um so I think the next project this is going to turn into part of a uh scarf so stay tuned for that another thing because this is the season of the granny square I shared this with you guys and this is where I'm at with the brown and the beige that I was sharing with you guys. This is as much as I got done. And like I said, um, I was thinking about adding a, a third color to this one here. I decided, I told you guys, I really wasn't for sure if I wanted to uh, add a, a third color. And so I decided not to add that third color. I don't want this to look like a scrap blanket. So I'm just going to keep it in the tan 
and the brown. This is chocolate and some type of uh, tan or, you know, that color right there. So what am I going to be making with that? That one is still on. I'm sorry, guys. That one is still uh, to be determined exactly what I'm going to be making with it. But I, I wanted to make the square wide enough to give me the exact idea that I was going for. And this one is giving me the idea of what I would intend on making. So you all just going to have to wait and see exactly what I'm going to be making using this square. I'm really excited that this is uh, the season of the granny squares because I really, really enjoy making granny squares. They got to be the most easiest things that you can make. So, yeah, that is so awesome. So stay tuned to see what I'm going to be doing with that. And you already know what I'm going to be making with that. So I went on, let me share something with you guys. I'm trying to make sure that I am recording. I was, I had did a tutorial. Okay, we did a live on making the uh, um, crochet slipper. What I did was I just put a string around here and tied it around here to make like a uh, shoe string. But the, the shoe that I made with you guys on Sunday when we did, not the past Sunday, Sunday before last, when we did the crochet along to make these fun and, you know, fun and easy slippers. And thank you to everyone who shared their slippers with me. It seemed like a lot of us had this type of color yarn. What was that about? But once I got done with the shoe, one shoe was bigger than the other. I'm like, I did the same stitch. I did not change the hook. I did everything the exact same, but uh, sometimes your tension can be different. So when I did the tutorial on these shoes right here, I made sure that my tension was just the same. Now what I did was I just got some tissue paper in there so to make sure that I got the exact same size because my tension was too, my tension was too loose the first time. So now I have the exact same size. Um, I love Pam, Pamela. She added a, a extra hook or something like, a, I forgot what you call it, in the back and added her pom-poms and Lisa added her pom-poms. I started to go with you guys and add a pom-pom, but I decided to just make a drawstring all the way around here and finish off there. So some of you guys has been asking me about like what's the proper um, item to use so you don't get that grip and get that sliding. Uh, to be honest with you, I have not. It was a lot of suggestions in our live video letting us know exactly what to be putting in here. Um, so leave that down in the comments below if you know exactly what we need to put on the bottom of our shoe so we don't be slipping and sliding all through the house. But I was glad to do the tutorial, guys, um, because I had two different size shoes. So now... I have the right size shoes and I know I have not really, really looked too thoroughly through my stash to see those little grips. I know I picked it up right from the Dollar Tree and I think you just supposed to, you could be able to just, you know, they have the little stickiness on there and you could be able to just put those little dots down there. I know you can use, uh, um, I don't know if the Dollar Tree has it, but probably Walmarts or someone else already have like the uh, bottom of a flip-flop shoe and you take that where you're towing stuff and you can add that at the bottom. So it's things that you can add to the bottom. Um, Lisa Darling had another idea and so many other people had many ideas of what you can use to 
put in the bottom of your shoe. I just been lazy. I have not. It's not that I've been lazy. I actually got to pull everything out for me to see if I got those little dots. And I'm not even for sure if I even have them. But in any case, if you got suggestions in to what to put under the bottom of the shoe so we don't get the slipping and sliding, please make sure that you put that down below. And hopefully that can answer some people questions who has been asking me. Basically, I was just going by what everyone else was saying because the only thing I knew about was the flip-flops and also the little dots that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So on, so that's that. If you're interested in seeing the video, uh, you can, I did add the slippers to the, um, my playlist or just go back a few videos and you'll be able to see that uh, video. If not, just leave me a comment and I'll leave the link uh, with you guys right there. So our Sunday live, I already know a couple of you guys uh, have some other plans for Sunday, but those of you who's going to um, be finishing the crochet bag with me, and in case you don't know what bag I'm talking about, is this bag right here. This is our little granny square crochet bag, hook, pico stitch. And so we was having such a wonderful time on last Sunday that we did not get a chance to finish this bag. So what I um, suggested for everyone who was going to be doing this crochet along with me to go ahead and have your two panels already ready. Okay, I'm taking this a piece, a loose. So I went on and did my two, uh, my two panels and those are the colors. I'm sorry, my thread, my um, project is coming down because I want to show you this real quick. So last Sunday, I asked you guys to go ahead and get your two squares together. And there's no um, size, you know, it's whatever size purse that you want your uh, bag to be. It's totally up to you. So here's mine. I'm using the blue and white or maybe like a teal and white. So we, we just having fun with the granny square. And then, so you see how I have mines. I have mines with the white in the center and then the blue. And then the second panel, I have the blue in the center and then the white. So I have my two squares, all right? And all we're gonna do with these squares are put them together, attach them, add our handle. We're going to do our pico stitch or shell stitch whatever border that you want yours to be we are going to do that and finish this on off this is two different types of yarn this got to be i love this yarn and this got to be either mainstay or red heart so i'm going to have to make this work for me and it will work for me so i'm just using up all the yarn that i can so Again, if you're going to be finishing off uh, for the bag for us on this Sunday, uh, I go live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Find out what time that is for you. And we are going to finish off this bag, which I'm super excited. I love the colors that i uh, chosen because it does kind of feel like spring. And that's why I have one brighter colors because the sun is shining here very nicely in Chicago. So we are glad about that. And I think, you know, the it's supposed to be warming up, but sometimes it warms up and then it goes right back cold. But that's Chicago. That's anywhere because I'm seeing so many of you all sharing your snow and sharing um, knit pearls and squirrel with Granny D. She was sharing her snow and so many other people were sharing snow. I'm like, we get that all the time. So it's nothing, you know, new for us, but I'm, I'm sure it's exciting for you guys. Cause when you say winter, I guess you do want to see 
feel the colder weather or even see the snow if you in that neck of the wood. But where I live, we get that all the time. So again, go ahead. You don't have to have multicolors. You could put this in one color. I just wanted mine to kind of like stand out, especially if I'm going to be the one who's doing the, you know, the tutorial or the crochet along. Um, I just wanted mine to stand out. So anyway, guys, that is what I wanted to stop in. Stay tuned to see how that works up. Any of, any of this yarn that's left, and probably, I'm for sure if any of this color is left over for when I get through with this bag, it is going to be part of the scarf. All right, I'm not going to try to make anything else with that because it's really not that much left. It appears to be a lot more left, but really it's not. So I'm going to get started with like a... Um, I don't know what type of scarf I'm looking for though. That's the only thing. I want to decide what type of scarf I want to go with this hat. I definitely want to pull some pink out. I'm definitely going to look in my stash and even though I might not have any pink on um, for scrap, however, I'm still going to incorporate pink just to bring both of these kind of like together. I probably look a hot mess, but I don't even care. I love this hat. I really, really do. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to the video. I appreciate it so, so very much. Um, yeah. So anyway, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you do know what type, the exact type of um, product to use underneath our, on the bottom of our shoe, Leave that in the description box below. It will help someone else and it will also help me as well because I made those for me, but I can't wear them right now unless I have them because I have made shoes like that in the past. And boy, when I tell you I have hardwood floor, I was slipping and sliding all over the place and I do not want that to happen again. Uh -uh. No, I don't. So let us know and... What, let me know what you guys think about the scrap hat. Is that something you may be interested in doing? I don't know. But let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to the video. I appreciate it so, so very much. And until next video, which is going to be Sunday, our Sunday live. Um, always remember, y'all, Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye for now.